Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're reacting to some more of my queen, my goddess, my end all be all, the one, the only, Miss Kelly Clarkson, and some more for Kelly Oki segments. Um, I've just been having a little Kelly Oki reaction marathon here, and I'm not complaining in the least. So we're just going to keep this train moving. Um, right now, we're going to dive into four songs that I've just had sitting on in my playlist for a while, and we're just going to get to them. So first off, we're diving into Kelly's cover of More Than a Feeling by Boston, which is just like one of those just classic, you know, soft rock songs that I just love, 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 love. So we're gonna just dive in and see what she does with it. Love the vibrato. I love this dress. Oh. That gorgeous head voice. Oh, and that run. Her voice is like... Oh, her voice is just like painting music all over the scale. She's high, she's low, she's just... Thing, Mama. I, I love this song on her voice like the lows the vibrato just like that for me that's the magic of this song in her voice like the belts the chorus all that stuff beautiful easy effortless I could go on and on and I feel like I've been going on and on about it for at least like the last hour because it's like my third karaoke session that I've done <laughs> in a row um so yes the belts are beautiful so free so open so easy effortless but like I just love just the the warmth in the lower part of her register and just the natural vibrato that comes out on some of these phrases down there especially in the verses um i love ah oh, i just love her voice I love that. obviously obviously um but yeah like i feel like that for me the magic is the verses, the the lower parts of the register that got showcased there. And there are lots of like nice slick little runs that she would do, do throughout, like nice, nice little melissas that came in. And like, it's just, I just love the depth and the warmth of her voice. There's so many layers to her voice. She can do so many different things. She's such a chameleon. She can adapt to so many different styles of music. And, but I just love that depth and that warmth to the tone of her voice. And it's just beautiful. It got showcased beautifully here during our, during the verses. Yeah, yeah. Love, 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 love. All right. So up next, we're going to dive into her covering Forever Young by Rod Stewart, I believe. So let's dive on in. To hear same thing with that. Mm. Nice melodic change. 
I like that guitar riff in the background. Beautiful transition. Does she not have any background singers? This feels like a great song that could use some background vocals. Sing. I love her phrasing. if we're going to, like, jump up or not. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, so that, like, again, similar to the last song, I love her voice during the verses. I love her voice throughout the whole thing. But, like, the verses just showcase that lower warmth in her voice and then the vibrato just kicks in so naturally so it just it just feels good i hear it and it feels good that's the best way that i can explain it um and overall it was really really good i i don't know why the decision not to have any background vocalists for this because i feel like every with the exception of a couple like maybe more slower intimate songs that she's done where it was just her I feel like the majority of the songs have had background vocals, and I feel like this song really could have benefited even more so from background vocals. Cause like I just instinctually, she's like, she be forever young, and I just automatically hear forever young in the background. Like I just hear this call and response happening, um, and I even if they didn't do that call and response, there's just a lot of places in here that could have been filled with like some nice oohs or ahs or harmonies or something. Like, I just feel like it could have benefited from having background vocals. So I don't know why the decision not to have any. I don't know if they, maybe they just weren't available. I know she's got a revolving set of them now that kind of switch in and out. Um, maybe it was a scheduling thing or maybe they just didn't want background vocals. I don't know. It still sounded fantastic without background vocals. I just feel like background vocals would have elevated it to the next level but all in all it was a great vocal from kelly um and i like that little guitar riffing that was happening whenever i mentioned it um like it's just her band is so good so so good um and the lighting again beautiful all right so next up we are going to dive into her covering another day i believe another day in paradise by phil collins yes Dress, hello, dress and leggings. Mm. 
again, similar to the last two songs, which is kind of why I put them all in this karaoke reaction session, because I felt like there was a similar vibe to the songs. Not that they sound the same, but like there's just this similar vibe vocally that I could hear in Kelly's voice. Um, the core, the, the verses, the the warmth in her voice, the lows, the vibrato. It's the same thing I've been saying the last two songs. Love, love, love. I love the inclusion of the background vocals here. I feel like Phil Collins, um, his music is very, very atmospheric and very layered when it comes to the the instrumental production and the vocal production. Like there's, he's he's such a genius. God. Um, but yeah, I feel like the background vocals were definitely necessary for this, and I would have loved them in the other song too. Um, but yes, it was a very chill, calm kind of performance. Um, yeah, there's nothing really bad about it. Nothing that like hit me mind blowing. Like, oh my god, I'm blown away. But it was good. It was a good performance. Good, solid um, vocal band is fantastic as always lighting is fantastic as always this dress oh lift uh, yeah all right so the last thing we've got is her covering angel of the morning um by the pretender so let's dive on on in. there'll be no strings to bind your hands not if my love can't find your heart love I'm gonna call it now. This is my favorite for this session. Yep, love, 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 love. Um, just from the first line she sang, I was automatically just hooked. I'm like, yep, this is it. This is my favorite one for this session. I just, it just felt so natural and just felt like it just sat in her voice in such a beautiful place. It just felt right. It felt so, so right. Um, and then, like I mentioned there, I love the vocal dynamics. We got into the chorus and just, just call me angel of the morning. Like, you know, full chesty belts that she was doing there. And then at the end of the chorus, she'd just bring it right back down and be soft, soft, tender, delicate vocals. And all throughout the, ver the verses, soft vocals, soft, delicate vocals. And then we'd have these big belty moments. It's these highs and lows and highs and lows, these peaks and valleys that just beautiful. Love the use of the vocal dynamics. Um, because she very easily could have done the whole thing soft, or she could have done the whole thing belty if she wanted to. Um, but yeah, I love the vocal dynamics, and just, it sat in a good place in her voice. Like, that, 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 that's all I really can say. It just sat in a very good place in her voice, and I loved it. Alright, so, as you guys know, all of our karaoke reactions, we gotta do a ranking of what we just watched. So if I had to rank these four that we just watched... It's gonna be tough. I think in fourth place I'll put um, another name, Paradise. It was fine. It just I wasn't blown away by by it like I was some of the others. Um, then I'll do Forever Young if it had background vocals. It might be higher. 
um, more than a feeling, and then Angel of the Morning. But you guys can let me know what your ranking is down in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications so you're not notified when all of my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments and I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. And before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I love you guys.